Right, so in this video, I'm going to go through my Traders Central instant funded account, how it's gone, literally 10 trading days, and I've just hit just over 4%. So what that means now is that account's now free because I've made 2,199 US dollars. Pay time is the 14th of August, so another four days. I've turned it off now. I will get 60% of that. And by the time I take 60% of that and convert that back into pounds, I've secured my fee back. The fee for a one-time fee plan is just over a grand. So I'm not in profit over overall net of that fee but the first priority is for me to get my fee back on that account which means i've technically got a free 50k account moving forward for me to leverage and compound that growth and probably trade it a little bit more aggressively after i've built another 1500 to two grand buffer after the withdrawals process now i've done this once before on a previous one-time fee plan that i did at the beginning of the year and i was able to turn that one grand cost for the account into a withdrawal of over six thousand pounds so i so passionate about that if you've not considered looking at instant funded accounts especially the trader central one i believe you are missing a trick yes it's five percent drawdown but you would never be able to make them amount of returns if you were to take that grand that this costs and put that in your own live funds you're never going to be able to 6x 7x that safely and conservatively now traders central overall i'll do another video about this another day i'm not a big fan i mean if we look at their portal and when we load this up i don't like it at all i think with the greatest of respect whatever user interface design has done here he was probably drinking a, a bit too much that day there's too much going on it's not a nice user interface for a user it might be because i'm too old and this is how more you know gaming platforms or whatever look but it's not for me i also don't like their risk reviews on 100k and 200k plans i think that's an easy get out for people that are trading them account sizes i'll do a video on that another day however in terms of their one-time fee plan the key parts here is at the discount i think it's 30 or whatever it is discount with your first one that is the most cost effective one-time fee 50k plan in the market it's uh, one to 50 leverage which again i think is the best leverage 60 percent profit split which is okay no other restrictions around the trading apart from fixed lots again which is is okay so apart from those niggles around the fact that they're difficult to deal with i think as long as you can just have a little bit of tenacity and a little bit of resilience to that and when it's profit split you might have to be a little bit like a dog with a bone and just chase a little bit which i know is a pain and you don't have to do that with other firms but you know their telegram chat support is a bit archaic it's a shame really because i think if they were to fix that bit I think their their plans are cost effective. Their targets, 8 and 4% are good. They tick a lot of boxes, but I just think their metrics and the service that they provide, it could really put them up there if they fix them things. So who knows, Trader Central, but we'll come back to that another day. So anyway, let me just show you this account. So you can see in the top right corner, 5219962. That's the balance of my instant funded account. And if I go to the account here, you'll see the data behind it. So this account started its first trade on the 26th of July. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 trading days and a 4.4% gain. So if, for example, if this was a challenge, let's say this would be more than on track for a 10% pass at that rate. Likewise, if this was a verification on another account, would have done that too. And this is the same approach that I used in the end on my the funded trader account, I think it was. So you can see a similar equity curve on this to the other account because I'll do the work on one master account and that feeds my slave accounts on social trader tools just keeps everything super slick and efficient for me so let's look at the data so we've done 109 trades we've got a win rate of 80.73 percent so winning 88 out of 109 that's just a vanity number it doesn't really mean anything unless you you know look at the average win average loss uh, which we can see over here 34 dollars win 30 39 dollars loss so that's a little bit of a negative RR, but doesn't matter. <laughs> As you can see with the equity curve, it really doesn't matter. And yeah, I mean, let's look at some of the trades. There's nothing open right now. This account is now totally turned off. So yeah, closed trades. So if I go to the open time, starting from the beginning, first trade on that 25th that I said a minute ago. And as we can see, you know, slow and steady is probably the, the best example. It's quite a busy approach in terms of trade volume. So for example, only one 
trade on that 25th and then 26th, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine trades then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I would say, you know, anywhere from seven to 10 trades a day. Again, all done with the Banker EA on a set file that I've identified on an IC Markets EU demo that then I use to copy trade numerous accounts. And this is one of them. It's a fixed lot approach, as you can see here. There is absolutely zero Martingale to that account. And this has just increased here because that account balance has increased. Yeah, and it would do that again if that balance increases too. So that's the account. I'm gonna show you the trades on MT5. Right, so let me show you the MetaTrader 5, and this will show the trade entries on the account. So housekeeping first, TC Bridge Live, that's what the account shows. Whether or not it's live funds or not, I don't really care. It may well be, it may well be not. These things can be manipulated. Things aren't always as they seem. But am I obsessed about that? No. Do others get obsessed about that with demos and all that shit? Yes, they do. But it doesn't matter as long as they pay. So 52199.62, the trade history that I've already gone through, to be fair, on the Social Trader Tools site. But I just wanted to show you visually a bit of the mechanics around some of the entries on here. So as we can see, the 25th of July, sell, close, sell, 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 but five trades stacked there on that upward buying pressure. And how I explain a lot of our strategies is price goes up and down all the time. Yeah, there's elasticity pretty much in how price moves. We, you know, traders trade with Fibonacci retracements and prices go up and down every second. I don't need to be emotionally or cognitively biased to an outcome or invested in an outcome through analysis, guesswork, forecasting, any of that stuff. I'm totally, I guess, at peace with not really caring. So price pushes to the upside, we get a pullback, we close. We've got another sell, uh, sorry, we close that there. I think there's another trade here. We've got a sell here that closes, a sell here that closes, a buy here that closes. Yeah, and these are these trades here on the 26th. So sell, close, sell, close, buy, close. Then we get here, we've got a sell, close. These are just in and out. Yeah, really tight lock profit and trailing stops. That's because you sort of limit your exposure, really. We're, we're looking at very small reversals in that elasticity and extremity of price movement. Now, if we get too greedy, that might then not close and continue against us. If I switch to M5 here, it's probably a bit easier. Buy closes, sell, close, sell, close. Another one. You know, th this isn't an EA that just opens willy-nilly yeah some people sometimes join us and it's like oh it's not opening trades i only open trades as and when criteria is met assuming that's how you've set it up yeah we can just hedge an average and have a bit of money management around it but that's just one very small piece of how our ea can work again three-ish trades up here at this push to the upside price is in an extreme range for a, a small pullback and you get the gist you know one two three close one two close a buy close bit of drawdown down here there would have been but again when we look at the account size it's 0.24 lot size on a 50k account that isn't martingaling it's not like it's doubling up on lot sizes every time the lot sizes are the same so yes downside of that is it could take a bit longer for that to close if this was a martingale strategy on this account these trades probably all would have closed quite a bit sooner because of the waiting to that extra position buy closed couple of sales closed yeah, that's that's it. You can visually see on the chart, bit of draw, you know, bit of extreme move to the downside. The buys closed, the sells closed, and all of this has translated into that four percent gain, which gives me a two thousand one hundred ninety nine withdrawal, a sixty percent split that covers the fee for the account to start with. So I just wanted to take the time to show you that that is a good lever to pull instead of trying to be a hero with a thousand pound account and the gung-ho approach that I believe that encourages, you know, leverage that cash, bang it into a 50K one-time fee, get serious about how you're trading it, play it for the game that it's intended. You know, let's not get emotional or obsessive about this. You know, I might lose this account at one point like I did the other one, but on the other one, I turned one grand into six and a half-ish in two, three months just to prove that this is a worthwhile model like I'm doing again. Once I've got my fee back, it doesn't really matter i can keep going again if i lose the account and i can have a cent a little bit of aggressiveness with it it can be a good way if you're looking to get on the funded ladder of starting with even a 10 grand a 25 grand doesn't matter what account size this is the biggest you can get for now i think they will bring out 100k at some point but what's to say i can't put my grand in withdraw get my fee back so this account's free and then use this account to withdraw profits that i could then use for challenge fees yeah so it's self-funding there are lots of different 
different sharp ways of doing that. And uh, it's definitely something that if you've not explored this or considered it, I think you're missing a trick and you need to. So that's it from me. Just shown the account, shown the performance, showed some of the trades, all done with a banker EA in an automated way. So yeah, follow me for more uh, videos like this. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out in the DMs.